Dr. Jeff Harp with Highland Family Medicine is with us. Doctor, good to see you. Likewise. We talked about anti-dementia diets last week. Uh, let's talk about anti-stroke diets this morning. And again, starting this way, how prevalent is stroke in our society? Well, um, about one in 250 people over the age of 25 has a stroke every year. So out, out of a year, uh, take 250 people, one of them will have a stroke. Um, each, for each of us, there's about a one in four chance that we'll have a stroke at some point in our life. That is an alarmingly high statistic. What are the risk factors we need to be thinking about? So the major risk factors are smoking, um, being overweight, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. And basically all of those except smoking are modifiable through diet changes. Right. We talked about anti-stroke diet right off the top. So what diet changes would be helpful in this scenario? Well, there's been two recent studies that looked at this, uh, published. Um, one looked at the association be between stroke and the type of fat that we eat. So part of the study compared a diet high in vegetable fat and polyunsaturated fat with diets low in those fats. People with intake of high vegetable and polyunsaturated fats excuse me, had a, a stroke rate of about 12% less than the others. Um, polyunsaturated fats are in things like corn, soybeans, sunflower, flax, olive oil, fatty fish, uh, and walnuts are especially good, um, mm -hmm. as opposed to other kinds of fats. Um, it also looked at diets high in animal fat, um, like that in red meat, that's non-dairy animal fat, um, with people who had low um, meat-based fat. And the risk of stroke was 16% higher in people who ate animal-based fat predominantly compared with those who had mostly um, non-red uh, meat-based fat. You mentioned two studies. What about the other study? The other study looked at coffee and tea consumption, um, interestingly. And people who drank uh, two to three cups of coffee or three to five cups of tea a day um, had a 32% less stroke rate than those who consume less. So if you're feeling guilty about your two or three cups of coffee, uh, there might be some benefit there. Yeah, how about that? How do we uh, integrate these diet changes? How do we start this process? Well, according to these studies, remove uh, lard, tallow, red meat, any kind of uh, based fat uh, from your diet and uh, substitute polyunsaturated oils. And then also um, think about having a, a cup of coffee while you're doing it, because mm -hmm. uh, it seems like that's helpful, or tea, uh, in terms of reducing stroke rate. And a final thought here, the types of diets that uh, fall into this category that would be beneficial. Right, so as we talked about before, the, the four top ones probably are the Mediterranean, flexitarian, which most people don't know about, but actually is a little easier than some of the other ones. Ornish, which is one to lower cholesterol primarily, and DASH, which is designed to lower blood pressure, all basically have the same kind of diet changes suggested. So I suggest choose one of those that seems to fit for you and try some of the suggestions. All right, thank you, doctor. Appreciate it. If you missed any of this conversation, we'll have it online as well at rochesterfirst.com.